Welcome to Lovely Lover Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the bone bracelet. It's a super cute, uh, thin bracelet. It measures around seven and a half inches long. There's five bones on this. If you feel like this is too big for your wrist, you can minimize it and only make four bones. And you can see it's a hook only design. So as you work with it, you can see how how much um, how many bones you want on your wrist. So, but I think five is really nice and it dangles a little bit. I also made one with um, different colors and I really like how this one came out too. You can do rainbow bones or you can do white bones and chain instead of black. You can do different colors here and really spruce it up a little bit. And I also use C-clips to connect everything together. So it's a hook only design and I'm going to show you how to make one bone right now and then you can pause it or rewind it to make the other bones and I've already pre-made four bones and I'm going to show you also how to attach the C-clip and connect everything together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to make one bone you will need around 13 rubber bands and I'm using single rubber bands and I also have a separate tutorial just to make the bone so if you already made a single bone there, you already know what I'm going to do right now. So you can take your hook, take your single band. You can either wrap it around your hook four times like this, one, two, three, and four, and that's one end of the bone. Or what I like to do is make a figure eight, just like this, and then take this and then wrap it around the hook again. That's the same as wrapping around four times. So we need one of those, then you need a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and then bring this on that single twist in the middle, bring it back on the hook, bring it to the side. Then we're going to make another one of these, and you need, I'm going to make my figure eight, where you wrap it around four times. And then you wrap it around again, so it's figure eight, then wrap it around again. And then you take another single twist, place it on the hook, bring that on the single twist. Now you have two right there. Then you're going to take another single twist, place it on your hook, and bring these two on that single twist. Then you bring it back on the hook, just as so, and you're going to, that's one. Now we're going to do another single twist, place it on the hook, slide that on the single twist, so that's number two. Then we're going to take another single twist, place it on the hook, slide that, bring it back on, that's number three, and we're going to do one more. That's the length of the bone. Single twist, place it on the hook, slide on, place it back on the hook, bring it to the right. Bring it all the way to the end. Now we're going to make the other side of the bone. So, single, place it on your hook. You can do it four times around or that figure eight like I'm doing right now. It's one, then another single twist. Place it on the hook, place the figure eight little ball on there, then you have that. Slide it close to this guy. Take another single, do the figure eight, and then the wrap around, or wrap it four times. <laughs> then you take a single, twist it again, place it on the hook. Slide that on that single twist, bring it back on there, so now you have three, so one, two, three. Then you're going to take another single twist, this is your last one, and you're going to slide all of them on the single twist. Okay, so now you're going to bring this back on the hook 
just like that. So now it looks like this. Now we're going to bring this and bring it over this one. So you're going to take it, bring it over, so you make a little slip knot. So now it's like knotted. Then you're going to, there's a hole right here, and you're going to put these, this end through that little hole. So you're going to open it up, place the bone through it so it wraps around the end of the bone. So it secures it. And that is your bone. So you can stretch the bands out, make it nice, and I think it came out cute. So I already pre-made um, five of them. So I have one here. These two do not have clips on them because I'm going to show you right now how to make the clips. But I already pre-made and put clips on three of them. So if you want to make, you can rewind the tutorial and then you can make the rest of them or pause and then you come back and then I'll show you how to attach the clips and make the bracelet. So we're going to need two clips on each end, okay? So I pre-made these three. I'm going to grab four clips right now. And then I'll show you how to make these two. And it's very simple. I'm going to separate this, and there's a single twist right in the middle. And it's wrapped, so you're going to see like four bands here. I only want two bands. I don't want to take all four. Here's all four. I just want to take two because it's it looks a little bit neater as a bracelet. So just two. You can see that. And then you just take your clip and clip those two. Okay, very simple. Take it off and it's clipped right in the middle. I'm going to go on the other side. Take two little bands from the middle. Okay, just like that. Take another clip. And clip it. Okay, so I want all the clips to be the same. So it looks like this. If you have one clip up and like one clip down like this, you just have to move the clip like this. Very easy. You don't have to re-clip it or anything. You just move it and it will go into position. So here's that one. We're going to go and go ahead and do this one. So I'm going to separate these, find two bands right in the middle. I have one right there. And two. Take my clip, pull it out, clip it. Just like that. I'm going to go on the other side. Find my two bands, okay, then get my clip, and clip it. So then you can move the bands back to resemble the bone, and make sure, you remember, if you have like one like this, like it's upside down, you just move it like that so it's the same. Then you're going to take whatever, you're going to do it to all five, and you're going to take a single black, twist it upon itself one time, or whatever color you want, or you can make it any color you want. Then you're going to place it on your clip, just like that. Then we're going to get the next one and clip it on the black. So now it looks like this. So some wrists are smaller um, than others. So four bones might be enough. Then you're gonna, um, but I like the five because it dangles a little bit. So twist it again, place it on the clip. Okay, 
same thing, take another one. And make sure that all the C-clips are in the same direction. I think it looks cleaner that way. Take another black band, twist it. Place it on the clip. Take another bone. Clip it. Take another black band, twist. It's a really cute design, a lot of fun to make, and I really love it. You can also turn these into earrings or necklaces. Take another black band. So this is about seven inches, eight inches, depending on how thick your white bands are. And then finally you have the black band and the last clip. And you have a pretty little bracelet. So you can move the bands, resemble the bones, and you're ready to go. I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. We'll see you soon. Four, and that's one end of the bone. Or what I like to do is make a figure eight, just like this, and then take this and then wrap it around the hook again. That's the same as wrapping around four times. So we need one of those. Then you need a single, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, and then bring this on that single twist in the middle. Bring it back on the hook, bring it to the side. Then we're going to make another one of these. And you need, I'm going to make my figure eight where you wrap it around four times. And then you wrap it around again. So it's figure eight, then wrap it around again. And then you take another. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the bone bracelet. It's a super cute, uh, thin bracelet. It measures around seven and a half inches long. There's five bones on this. If you feel like this is too big for your wrist, you can minimize it and only make four bones. And you can see it's a hook only design. So as you work with it, you can see how how much, um, how many bones you want on your wrist. So, but I think five is really nice and it dangles a little bit. I also made one with um, different colors and I really like how this one came out too. You can do rainbow bones or you can do white bones and chain instead of black, you can do different colors here and really spruce it up a little bit. And I also use C-clip, do one more. That's the length of the bone. Single twist, place it on the hook, slide on, place it back on the hook, bring it to the right, bring it all the way to the end. Now we're going to make the other side of the bone. So, single, place it on your hook, you can do it four times around or that figure eight like I'm doing right now. It's one, then another single twist. Place it on the hook, place the figure eight little ball on there, then you have that. Slide it close to this guy. Take another single, do the figure eight, and then the wrap. Single twist, place it on the hook, bring that on the single twist. Now you have two right there. Then you're gonna take another single twist, place it on your hook, and bring these two on that single twist. Then you bring it back on the hook, just as so, and you're gonna, that's one. Now we're gonna do another single twist, place it on the hook, slide that on the single twist, so that's number two. Then we're going to take another single twist, place it on the hook, slide that, bring it back on, that's number three, and we're going to connect everything together. So it's a hook only design, and I'm going to show you how to make one bone right now. 
and then you can pause it or rewind it to make the other bones and I've already pre-made four bones and I'm going to show you also how to attach the C-clip and connect everything together. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to make one bone you will need around 13 rubber bands and I'm using single rubber bands and I also have a separate tutorial just to make the bone so if you already made a single bone there you already know what I'm going to do right now. So you can take your hook, take your single band. You can either wrap it around your hook four times like this, one, two, three, 